So we are at Noises and we bring value to construction and rental companies and their tools. In the construction industry, it's much, uh, it's quite often that there is a tremendous loss of equipment that amounts every year to around $1 billion. Uh, one of the major problems that construction and rental companies face is that existing equipment lack of a universal tracking system, while on the other hand, the maintenance of this machinery at, uh, are all mostly human oriented and time costly. So what we have built is an attachable cube that communicates vital information regarding every machinery through an easy to use app. Uh, our main focus is the single use of the of our cube. You just attach it on any kind of equipment from bulldozers, excavators, breakers, generators, airlifts. You can observe it on your on your screen and they react according to the conditions. So what are the characteristics of our device? It includes a GPS for the location and also collect tremor, te tremor and temperature data in order to measure the activity of the tool and also impact that it receives from every fault. Uh, the core underlying technology behind this is narrowband IoT, a new variant of 4G and 5G technologies that allows us to send specific amount of data on very, uh, at very low cost and also at very uh, without consuming much battery. So uh, we have built a durable auto autonomous device. The battery tone can last up to six months, which is so, so easy to use. It's just plug and play. Uh, what, the, what are the benefits for the construction company? First of all, is the simple fleet management. Every construction company has more than one construction, active construction sites that need to uh, get tools from get tool and machinery from one site to another. And so our applications provide with simple visuals information about the tools and the users. And also the, the composite, that the, the feature that we want to develop by collecting data is to, uh, to try to, uh, to have a predictive maintenance feature in the future. Uh, as, you can know, as you may know, the, the heavy machinery market is quite big worldwide. At this moment, we are focusing mostly on Europe and Middle East. And uh, our pricing model uh, stands at $10, $10 per month per device in the startup version, which includes the tool tracking mechanism. And also we want to develop premium versions at $18 per month, which also will include the predict maintenance check. Also, uh, of course, there are discounts on larger batches and longer, longer contracts. But uh, regarding our competition, we have uh, two main pillars. The first pillar of competition are uh, OEMs, uh, um, companies that build construction equipment that they all have already uh, developed internal solutions regarding their, uh, their equipment. But uh, they are most, they are 10 times more expensive than us. And also they have a limited amount of uh, bandwidth as they use mostly Bluetooth technologies in order to con to monitor their tools. On the other hand, there are telematics companies, not too quite popular in Europe, but very popular in Americas, which are much more expensive, uh, almost 10 times than us. And they also don't have the technology that we have at this moment. Uh, our journey starts back 2017 when as a student project, we won the second place in Hilti IoT competition. Uh, we went to several other competitions. We got our first funding from Digital Venture, EID Digital Venture Program in September 2018. We developed our product, and at this moment, we are happy to announce that our first revenue just came into the company. Uh, our team is consisted of me, George, another George, an electrical engineer in the hardware systems, and Lefteris, the COO, also an electrical engineer who is responsible for coordinating the team. We are we have three more developers in our team. And no, that's not for it. Uh, I think this is this is all. Thank you for your time and your attention. Thank you very much uh, for the presentation and, uh, and sticking to the time. Um, good, let's have some questions then, uh, starting again with some questions from the jury. Um, Hani, would you like to, to start this one? Yeah, just uh, very quickly, uh, how long does the uh, battery charge per, per cube? 
uh, the battery charge is the battery is 3.3 uh, million pairs, which is I think it's 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so I'm supposed to attach this cube to a bulldozer uh, who goes into the desert. How long does it last out there before I have to recharge it? Well, the desert is a very good place to be because it's an external it's an external position. So the GPS doesn't consume much battery and you can be in the desert for six months without need for recharge. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, let's have a question from uh, uh, Oti then as well. Yes, uh, yeah, so my question was, um, how do you attach this uh, tag to devices? Well, to um, in Europe, uh, we attach it with epoxy resign in order to be uh, the cube to be one with the machinery and be very difficult and almost impossible to deattach it in order to have the anti-theft uh, feature. But uh, in Middle East, uh, as we have seen, there is there are no thefts because theft is punished with pretty hard ways, so uh, no way st is stealing there. So, <laughs> yeah. And I guess this is targeted for a bit uh, more expensive tools uh, because of the uh, price. Yeah, our average um, our average machinery costs more than 400 euros. Okay. How, may I ask a question? It's Philip. Absolutely. How, <laughs> how do you do the... I like the idea of someone stealing a bulldozer from the middle of the desert. It would probably take them a while to get away with it. But um, uh, how do you do the predictive analytics piece? What do you... If you can stick this device yep. anywhere, what mm -hmm. real information are you picking up and how do you how do you communicate it using that uh, narrow band uh, system well first of all we have not developed yet the predictive maintenance feature but uh, what we collect is two, uh, two main as uh, two main uh, variables the first is the vibration where we can from vibrations we can extract uh, faults for smaller equipment and also we can uh, see if the motor is on the wrong um, is on the wrong uh, I don't know the exact technical term, but the motor needs to be adjusted at this point uh, in order to produce the right amount of vibrations for the tool, for the machinery. So we can see if the vibration uh, diagram are on the correct side. I use it in a very ab abstract way, but I hope you understand it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I see that the, there are some answers as well to the questions from before in the chat. Thanks a lot for that. So we don't have to skip them completely. Um, there is also a question from Mike here, uh, right? Yeah, I was just wondering um, why there, you said early on that there's no universal system for this. Do you have any understanding why there is no universal system yet? Well, um, sorry, yeah, there are universal systems, especially on bigger machineries, uh, mostly from telematics company. Uh, the telematics company have uh, a, a large cube. It's like, give me a sec, I will show you right now. Uh, uh, well, can you see me? I hope. Mm -hmm. Give me a sec. You see that? Right. Uh, it's a my from my son, but it's the the mm -hmm. size of the cube that is used on uh, heavy tanks. That it's complete. Uh, it's similar to those telematic boxes used on bulldozers and excavators from telematics company. That means uh, uh, our solution is much, it's a small cube that can be hidden on that. So there are universal things, but mostly for bigger machineries. Okay, thank you very much for uh, answering the questions and for the presentations, uh, for the presentation as well.